All right, so let's get started. Um, I'd like to introduce uh, Professor David Ashbridge, uh, for our, who'll offer our welcome address. Uh, David, it would be most well known to you as the Chief Executive Officer of Barwon Health. He's my boss. Um, David's also the Chair of uh, the Western Alliance Academic Health Science Centre and has been fantastic uh, in that role through the year. Uh, uh, or the 18 months that we've been operating. Prior to taking the position, David worked for a long time. A long time. <laughs> I was going to say exactly how much, but actually it may date both of us. Uh, in the Northern Territory, practising as initially as a remote medical officer, so has an intimate knowledge of remote and regional health issues, um, became a public health physician and then had a, a more than a decade's period in a range of executive roles, um, including the Chief Executive Officer of the Northern Territory Department of Health and Families from 2006 to 2010. And importantly, David has great insights into the workings of government being uh, Senior Medical Officer and Assistant Secretary to the Commonwealth Department of Health, Chair of the Australian Health Minister's Advisory Council, a board member of the National uh, eHealth Transition Authority, and, and, and a number of other positions that I'll, I'll, I'll stop with. So I, I'm, I'm I, I, we owe a debt of gratitude to David for his, uh, his enthusiasm with the Western Alliance to date. And I'll pass it over to you. Thank you. That was uh, David Ashley. I'm David Ashbridge. And, uh, and uh, one day I'll get to introduce David Ashley. And his CV is somewhat more substantial than mine, in terms, certainly in terms of publications. It's an absolute pleasure to be, to be, to be here today. Colleagues, honoured guests, greetings to you all. Um, I just want a big welcome to the uh, second annual symposium. It's all about the big questions in regional and rural health. Before I sort of uh, go into my eight minutes that are left, um, clearly we need to pay our respects to the, to the Wadawurrung people of the Kulin Nation, to the traditional owners and custodians of the land on which we gather today, and I acknowledge the elders past and present. As the chair of the Western Alliance, it's very exciting for me to, to, be, uh, to stand in front of you all today, researchers and practitioners together, because I want to think, I want to, I want to engage you in what I think our reason for being is. Uh, and, I mean, and, and, what, and how I think there's a fantastic sense of timing and opportunity for Western Health to, to carve a niche in research and service delivery in Australia. I mean, it's, clearly there, are, there is um, unequivocal epidemiological evidence that there is a differential uh, or a gradient in health outcomes in regional and rural Australia compared to, compared to our city colleagues. We have an opportunity to understand that. We have an opportunity to do something about that. And, and why I think it is so opportune is that I think we are, well, we are, in my view, the only academic health service that is defined by geography. So for those of you with a public health background, the notion of catchment, the notion, and later on we're going to be talking about data and what that means and having a, having a, a, a good denominator is, uh, is really important in that, in, in that sphere. It's also important that we, our membership of, of, the, of the West Alliance uh, comprehends the continuity of care. So we have primary health care networks and general practitioners, we have hospitals, we have community health centres, and, and, they, and they sit within that same geography of a region. So we are a region, you know, and, and that, that luckily that region coincides with our, our, largely with our educational colleagues. So we have this confluence of educational uh, print, uh, uh, continuity of con the continuity of service provision across that same geography, and we have a strong history of being pretty good at, at data management and that, but that's or data acquisition at least, and the opportunity for us to later on in the day to understand how we can how we can uh, take advantage of the opportunity that, that will be a defining feature, I think, for Western Alliance, is a collaboration across the care continuum defined, with a defined geography underpinned with, a, with a, an equal commitment by education providers around that same geography. So that's, that, I mean, I just think that that's a formula that is, that is going to sort of bear fruit. And I think that if we get it right, then we will, um, we will be acknowledged for that, and, and the future of health services, I believe, is around defining geography and, and, and having a commitment to the responsibility inside that. So, so I, wanna, I want people to, th to really 
see, the cell, see, see us as at the beginning of a really important journey. I mean, we've been going for 18 months. This time last year there was 60 odd at the Wool Museum. There's 100 and oversubscribed as I'm, as I'm hearing today. So there is, a, there is a momentum. There's a reason why that momentum is in place. And I would love to think as, as an initial step, and perhaps this links to the Research 101, and I note there was some, some spaces left, that maybe an initial, an initial um, uh, measure of, of, of our successes, I think we could be known as the most research active region in Australia. Okay, I, don't, I think that's not unreasonable, I mean, given the fact that we have, uh, you know, we have engaged with clinicians very, very broadly, we have we, have, we are addressing issues that are germane to our region. So I think there is a momentum that, that I think is, is, um, has got a head of steam, which I think will then translate into a whole lot of other research opportunities. Already the three projects that were funded last year, which were clearly defined as being research relevant for the region, are progressing well, but they've also been generating not only papers, but, all, but future external grant applications and academic publications. So they, they were put there for a reason. They were put there to get seed funding. They were put there to get early success. They were put there to brand uh, the Western Alliance. And now we're on the second, the second year of that journey. And I, I can just see it um, a really legitimate growth in, in, in the Western Alliance. And it will, it will take its place as a, a different form of academic health science uh, compared to all the others, which are largely traditional uh, high-end high -end universities, high-end high -end hospitals, usually not inclusive of general practice, usually not inclusive of primary care, and largely not embracing the public health issues of, 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 the, um, of the nation. So we have a place and an opportunity to be different and to be good and to be acknowledged for that, and in a place that, and a, in an organisation that actively is promoting research to be undertaken in a collaborative way, to have be driven by the service providers, to be supported by the, by the um, uh, education providers in terms of quality of research and research skills. And I think if we can make that work, and I'm very confident we can, you'll, we'll look back on, on the last year or two as being the beginnings of something really, really important in the Australian uh, research um, um, agenda, particularly as it applies to rural and regional health issues. So I'm not going to, I'm not going to delve into the big data issues, there's a, there's a range of, 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 of presenters who are coming, coming today, but I really wanted to, to put a context of why I think that big data is important. Define population, uh, comprehensiveness of, 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 of data collection, opportunity for service delivery improvements, opportunity for research are just not that far away if, if we can get that right. So I, I think that is a uh, a fundamental piece of infrastructure that will define our region if we can if we can um, if we can get that right. So I'd like to close and not steal any thunder from any of the keynote speakers. But I'd I, I really hope that this is though this is the is acknowledged as an important day in the few, in 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 the Western Alliance. It's obviously a thank you to Renee. People have 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 have, have committed to it, and uh, thank you all for coming today, especially for those from far and wide. And um, I wish you all a very successful symposium. Thank you very much.